advocacy is, an, is another way of marshalling, uh, mobilizing the efforts of the community so that they can influence the legislature um, in terms of policy development, but also in terms of funding priorities. Whether it be contributing to programs uh, that impact these issues, whether it be volunteering uh, to these issues, or whether it be uh, contributing money. Uh, we're going to break up into uh, groups. And so uh, we're going to do like a small group conversation where we uh, ask folks to answer the questions, where do you see the issues in your life community, life community? What do you think we should be doing about this issue? And what are you willing to start doing? I'm Emma Popewelch. I work at Memic, and I came tonight because uh, I'm a community member and I want to know what I can do to make a difference. Achieving Thrive 2027's goals would mean a stronger community. It would mean stronger individuals, healthier individuals, uh, and that would make everyone's lives better. I try to help the community thrive um, by raising awareness, uh, by giving time, by giving money uh, when I can, and uh, raising awareness about the challenges that exist in our community and what the people at my workplace and the people in my community can do to help. Hi, my name is Camelia Babson Haley, and I'm with Youth and Family Outreach. And I came to tonight's Thrive 2027 community event because I care about what's happening with the work that Thrive 2027 is doing. I'm deeply involved in it, and I was looking forward to hearing about what was new and hearing from Ann Dalton and the senator. What does this lead to? What is it then? That is, if it's not addressed, what goes to happen? I'm Erin Clymer Lassard and I'm a member of the Women United Child Care Advocacy Committee. So I'm here tonight to show support and to learn what's happening as part of Thrive and show my interest and engagement as a community member. It means a community that's come together to solve some really big problems and committed collectively toward a, a future that we can see our benefit in even if we don't get immediate uh, feedback for a particular program, seeing our it is benefit to all of us. It's a huge vision and it's a, an amazing thing to work together to accomplish. Certainly join committees, but also be informed, go to meetings, understand what people are concerned about, what the community needs and how you can get involved. Pay attention to local politics, join organizations that are doing this important work and support with your dollars. Folks, when talking about what do you think we should be doing about these issues, I heard a lot about increasing pay for uh, workforce development, increasing pay for those folks who are actually delivering the services to our little ones, and as well as um, looking at uh, what is the role of, of the business community uh, in solving some of these problems. Uh, and I also heard, or, or maybe I thought I heard someone mention uh, advocacy as, as something that um, we should be doing about these issues. And, um, in terms of that third question, and, and I want to just kind of go through the different groups, uh, because it does kind of come down to what do we, or what, what are we individual, as individuals doing, in addition to what are we doing as a group, as a coalition, um, in this effort. In addition to the emails and phone calls, if you can, writing a, a, your, a testimony in support of a bill uh, does have an impact, and, and they do read those things. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for being a part of this community conversation. Thank you so much for the effort that you took today and sharing your thoughts and perspectives and concerns with us. Uh, again, thank you very much, and you all have a good night.